don't know what came over me to watch this show. I ain't gonna hold you. I am not the type of person to be watching shows like this, and we'll talk about it. My name is MJ. Now, um, if you happen to relate to any of the Menendez brothers, what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch this video in completion, go watch The Deliverance on Netflix, and walk yourself to the police station. Okay? Um, sorry if that was loud and really close to my mic, but let me just say oh when my hat just fell to the ground let me just say this um i'm not joking when i say that and make sure you follow those steps i feel like the, the, the deliverance movie will definitely deliver you it will scare you straight because this is such a scary show i am not the type of person to be watching shows like this for a thousand reasons number one to actually think about people who are capable of doing these type of things any of the type of things that were discussed in this show nine episodes is actually really scary um and then the fact that you're watching these scary sc characters who actually happen to exist in real life on screen portrayed is scary and so for me personally i think these type of i think it's really good to have certain specialists analyze these monsters so the menendez the menendez brothers for a variety of reasons to get into the head as to why and how people monsters end up doing these type of things but we'll but, but we're also going to get into that and we're also going to talk about the glorification of crime drama the glorification of murder and all of these things and but let me just say this. I mean, on a serious note, I have left resources down for um, any of you who are having any mental health struggles. And I've left, left some Canadian resources, some general resources, because I don't know how the first thing that would come to your mind is to go and murder your parents. I don't know how that's the case. However, the show did a really good job as to how they came the menendez brothers those brothers came to the con came to those that conclusion and we'll talk about that but there are other options you could move out and not tell your parents you could eman emancipate your parents you could cut ties financially you could leave and never look back and move out of your city out of your state move to move in with somebody who can protect you and um have that healthy relationship with you that you didn't have with your parents so it's just there are so many ways out and going to go talk to a actually healthy psychotherapist mental health therapist not like the one who was also abusing his mistress not that one like a good healthy one it's also good to go to um there are so many options. And so on a serious note, those resources will be down below, but we'll be talking about all different types of abuse, but I'm not going to go down the path of, okay, did they actually, was there abuse? Da, 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 da. I'm not doing that. I'm talking about um, the things that I liked about this particular series and why this series will most likely get Emmys, Oscars, and a lot of awards in this up upcoming award season. So I'm going to go through, you know, what I like about it, and then I'll go through what I don't like about it. And so, yeah, um, I really hope none of you guys like watching that show and you're like, okay, I actually can relate to the Menendez brothers because really, you really can. Oh my God, I'm missing my little plant. Guys, I really have my little plant here. I do feel like, on a side note, I really do feel like I should, I should like decorate this background. Let me know. Um, but if you guys think it's, it's really just it'll be distracting then i won't do it but i'm thinking of decorating um this little area here so there are a lot of options and i'm gonna talk about the things that i do like about it and i really hope you didn't watch this entire series and like oh, i can relate because that's a red flag for yourself you should go and find help now what i do like i love the fact that they jumped right into the actual show. They they jumped right into it. What do I mean by that? A lot of a lot of p 
period dramas, a lot of dramas, a lot of drama, a lot of docu series, a lot of dramas based off of real life, a lot of murder mysteries are always building up to a climax. However, they laid all of that in the first episode, which reeled me in. I think if that didn't happen for me, I think honestly, I would not have continued watching the show because, and I'll talk about the second part, the reason why I like I like the show too. So we saw the entire murder right before our eyes and I'm just going to say it right now, Netflix, the new HBO, I clocked it. I clocked it first. Netflix is a new HBO, okay? The amount of guts and gore we saw. If you have watched the 365 movie on Netflix and you can see all the guy, guys, private parts and everything all in 3D, 4D, 5K, 18K, it's like a new, it's like, Netflix is like HBO. Like if you do not have child lock on Netflix, then you could be seeing some wild things on Netflix, okay? Netflix is r-rated triple r (laughs) and that's where i wasn't so shocked with the gore you guys are probably like oh my god there was so much blood in regards to the murder they really enacted it that's netflix now and so i love the fact that we jumped right into the first episode we saw how they actually committed the murders and they gave us a glimpse into the relationship between the kids and the parents, which also drew people in because people saw, oh my God, how crazy the dad was treating the kids and how crazy the mom was treating the kids and how violent and, and how, you know, aggressive that the kids were treating the parents and the parents and the kids were kind of wild and all over the place and doing all sorts of crazy things. So that is it kind of enticed people to know who these people are, especially if you don't know, like I come from the perspective that I don't really, I didn't really read, I'm sure there are books about their story. Um, I wasn't really um, old enough to know what was going on when that happened, obviously. And so, and I don't want to know. Like, these are things where you don't really have to know every single... And a lot of people really do like learning about crime series and dramas. I do not. I think it's scary. I think it's freaky. And I think I don't want nothing... I don't want no part of it. So I knew that the Mendanas brothers existed. And I knew that they did this horrific thing. So I like the fact they jumped right straight into it. And, and then they gave us little pieces of what's to come. And that really allowed people to really stay and really watch the show. So that's number one. Number two, the acting is incredible. The acting is incredible from the entire cast. They casted this in, in incredibly. Um, I don't even know how in the world they did it. It's so random too. Like I would not have picked these particular characters for um, these particular actors for this particular show, but it, it blended out so beautifully. Like the acting, if you were to ask me who, who was the breath the the breast the best actor i would say i would say the father but also the mother i don't think the brothers i i don't think the brothers did that good of a job to be quite honest with you oh my god something scared me i'm scaring myself like i don't know what's wrong with me i don't think i don't think the um i don't think the brothers uh did a good job in acting however they did a really they 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 did really hook me in the the last few episodes when um i don't know if it was the one that's more of a psycho um the one that's more of a psycho who details the entire um um abuse um s abuse uh romantic abuse the s of romantic abuse on the stand and then his other brother was also crying and saying, I'm sorry. And so that was incredibly, incredible acting. So I just wish um, they they showed more, more, more of that throughout the, throughout the season. Sorry, I'm just pulling up the cast name so I can know. Um, so Javier Bardem as Jose Menendez. Chloe, Chloe Seveni as Mary Louise. Kitty Menendez, so Mary Louise, so Kitty, Cooper Koch as Eric, and then Nicholas Alexander as Lyle. So 
they didn't i don't know how they were able to go out and cast these people and find these people for the show they did an incredible job they all melted and 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 did such a good job of playing the characters that they need to play um and i'm pretty sure you know a lot of people watch the show because cooper and nicholas who plays eric and lyle are quite good looking and i'm i'm honestly to be quite honest with you I don't think a lot of people would continue to have watched if they weren't good looking also and also great actors. And let me just say, they were great actors, but they weren't as good actors as their father was, um, who played was played by um, Javier. And his mom, their mom was also really good too. Um, incredible i'm i'm the acting is what st- is is what is what allowed me to get to stay and, con- and still continue watching the show but what hooked me was the first episode that pilot hooked me and usually like i said it's usually a slow build so the acting is incredible some of my favorite scenes of the acting Ooh, there's so many there's so many there's so many so many a lot of things where you're kind of going in and out of the show trying to figure out what's real and what's not so you're kind of playing mind games with yourself while you're watching the tv show and so you're trying to figure out what's real and what's not and the show does a really good job of trying to figure out and trying to make try to try to test your memory and try to test what could happen what what could have happened in real life and so my final conclusion on that is I do believe that romantic that that Eric and Lyle did experience romantic abuse and even if they weren't fighting and people weren't seeing them fighting a lot or doing things violent it doesn't mean that that romantic abuse wasn't happening to them by their father and that was complicit and witnessed by their mom um and of course they did kill their parents so the show does a really good job. So I'll go into what I don't like, but anyways, still going into what I do like. Anyways, um, making the plot very interesting, like very interesting, right? We start off as them. We're seeing, you know, what's what kicks everything off. And then we see the funeral and then we go into each and everybody's characters about their lives. You know, I love how each and every episode is kind of centered on one thing at a time. We see one episode of the point of view of the parents, one episode of Eric's point of view, one episode of Lyle's point of view, but it's so hard piecing it together because we don't know what's true and what's fake. I love that. I love that. It's kind of, it's forcing you to really think and it's forcing you to really analyze the information in front of you while you're watching it. Because usually when it comes to TV shows you're, these days, TV shows are not really that great and not really allowed the TV show's not that great for you to just sit down and analyze like that. Usually it's kind of mindless. You can put it on in the background. TV show's kind of like podcasts, like my podcast. <laughs> um, where you just put it on in the background, you don't have to think about it. But this one you really have to sit down and watch and remember the information that that has been given to you remember the different points of the story um and try to piece it together yourself and try to figure out uh you know what's truth and what's fact and that's what i really like about the show is that and the other element of the show which is it puts you on guard it puts the consumer on guard and it forces us to really be kind of an investigator and trying to figure out what is true and what is fact and so you're really doing a lot of thinking while you're watching the show because a lot of the times the show does a really good job of explaining the why and how the brothers did what they did right the brothers were you know the brothers were abused throughout their kid their childhood and you know and they needed a lot of help and that's the reason why they did what they did and they're not okay in the head and they came to a breaking point where they didn't want to deal with anymore and that's why they did what they did to me when you come to that point you go seek help and it was so strange for me as to how how, why that particular i don't know why murder to them was the only thing they could think about to do it was quite clear to anybody watching the show from anybody who's watched the trial that them and the the brothers had a huge support system had uncles and aunts and all of these things and so 
it's so interesting to see how this is what they decided to do such a graphic and violent and very hard out on getting them out of the situation that they're in and i do honestly believe a um they're the type of people who they end up being who they are because of the circumstances that they're in that i do think if they were raised by different people they would not end up being killers they would not be murderers and they're kind of like like defense lawyers usually say they're the product of their environments and that's where they're able to get plea deals and things like this because if they were raised right if they're raised without abuse if they were raised without neglect and all of these things then they would not have be who they are and i do believe that i do partly believe that but i do partly believe that they also do have a choice and i also don't believe as well that they were motivated solely because of money it was clearly it was clear that they didn't like they did not like their family um and they were they hated themselves they hated their lives they lashed out um and i don't know how you have like teachers coming and saying like, oh they're they're all these, they're, they're, they're they're these beautiful children when you know the show does a really good job of explaining that they're complicated boys who can easily give you a side that they, that you want them to see um or give you a side that they want you to see and there are there are multiple sides to the boys and it's just very interesting like for instance i think i don't know who is which i don't know which one is eric and which one's lyle but like the, the the character the, the 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 gay brother um the gay brother who is able to be mad and turn into like a murderer like he was the one who suggested murdering the parents not um the other brother right which who is actually looks like an acts like a psychopath um while the gay brother actually looks like a normal man um no more no more guy right so it's really interesting to me um those are like some of the interesting parts that i liked it was a very multifaceted the character development is there the acting is there there's tons of story arcs there's story development these characters are four dimensional characters there's so much to them there's so much to there's they're they're really unfortunately they're interesting they're a lot like these characters are these these are real people these are really bad people i'm just gonna conclude on that like i want to make it very clear these are bad 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 people and if you do have bad people in my life in your life, sorry. Um, um, I don't have bad people like that in my life. <laughs> Let me make that clear. But if you have bad people in your life, please do seek help. Um, and it's just crazy to see this in a nine episode series. What I do like as well is that the fact that we were able to see the trial. The first trial seems like the defense lawyer was an incredible defense lawyer. And what the defense lawyer did is actually what defense lawyers do is get you off based off of your circumstances. What why the why is really important for defense lawyers and the mitigating circumstance, the mitigating um, um, the mitigating factors that could make people understand what may uh, um, what led you to this point, and then. The second trial was entirely horrible. Uh, it does seem to me the judge had bi- t- lots of biases, and in Canada that will not that would not work in Canada. In fact, you can get a whole new trial if you have a judge acting the way that the judge did in the second trial. Um, I do think there's a lot of misogyny in the sh- in the show too. It's clear that they a lot of people do not like the the defense lawyer who happens to be a woman there's tons of i mean there's tons of things there's like this capitalism this misogyny and i do think too like a lot of how the, the 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 kids end up being who they are because of the parents and if the parents listen money doesn't solve all problems money can create a lot more problems and obviously the, the parents were horrible people but um i don't think again money was a driving factor to why the kids did what they did and so, yeah, the trials was really interesting, and it was interesting to see the different elements of that. And um, it's just crazy because, and it leads to the negative things I don't like about the show. Um, I'm happy that they didn't show the intimate scenes of the romantic abuses that happened. Like we could, we could, 
we could they so they talked about it but they didn't actually show scenes of it like thank god it's not that necessary like they show scenes of 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 the murder in the first episode thank god it was not necessary and then because i would have fast forward honestly i don't watch that stuff um and then um i don't really like the fact that (sighs) i hate the fact the show forces us to somewhat like and understand these brothers but also hate them and and that's why a lot of people don't like do not like these type of shows where shows are based off of a true story because it does glorify violence and romantic abuse and it glorifies all these crazy things you should not be romanticizing or glorifying like it, it making it sexy and all of these things and the show did a good job of doing that because I, I did watch till the end. There are some elements that they made it that if they didn't change, I would not have watched till the end because it wasn't interesting. But I, I hate the fact that the show forces us to like the brothers. Like, I don't, how do I say this? I don't like the brothers, but you kind of feel a little bit of sympathy. Like, you have a bit of empathy for them and you kind of feel bad for them a little bit because it's quite clear they had a horrible childhood. And so I hate that the show forces us to feel that way. I could only imagine how the Kitty's parents who are alive and were alive, I don't know if they're alive and were alive, or Kitty's family or is watching this show about these their her their kids, like their nieces and nephews killing their aunt. It gets just so crazy. I just don't know how one can can you imagine, you know, knowing that this happened to somebody that you know, and then someone created a whole TV show that goes viral, and then now people are talking about, I was Googling it, people are talking about, um, people are talking about season two, and I'm like, season two where? Like, stop. Like, this, this is, it's so, even though they did a good job with the first season, like a great job with the first season, it's just so creepy and weird to detail this entire their entire story um the menendez brothers in inter- apparently the menendez brothers family do do slams a tv show they hate the fact that there's a tv show um about them which uh you know it's fair um i want to know who like the show is really well done i just It's really well done. And Ryan Murphy is a part of it. I'm trying to figure out. Like, I was actually shocked at at the fact that it was so well done. So Ryan Murphy, he did... um, He did the Bananas Brothers. And he also did Monster uh, with with the, the Dahmer TV show. And so I'm just trying to figure out where his credits were for the Menendez, the Menendez brothers. I don't know if he was a director or anything like that, but really good. Like, I don't know if he wrote it. Did he write the TV show? I'm not really sure. Ryan Murphy, Menendez brothers. Um, yeah, I don't really know how he how how he's part of it i'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments but i'm guessing there's a lot of backlash i mean i don't i don't i can only imagine like this show makes it look quote unquote too sexy like too romanticized and it's kind of and it's really raw it's like really raw and gritty and that's why it kind of reminds me of uh hbo tv shows um to me, it was like really well done. Let's look at the Rotten Tomatoes. I just want to see like the Rotten Tomatoes of this. Menendez Brothers, Netflix, Netflix TV show. Let me know what you guys think about the show. Um, I would say, honestly, it's an 8 out of 10. I would say it's probably one of the uh, best TV shows out in 2024, to be quite honest with you guys. It's very well done. And I know I don't know I don't know what else to say. It's very 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 well done. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Oh wow, 40, 
46% on Rotten Tomatoes, they said. Oh, I disagree. I do think there will be some awards with that. I, I do think um, we'll see maybe supporting the, the, the parents, the actors who play the parents get, get, a, get a nomination or something. So let me know. It was... Unsa- like it was un- unfortunately it was very good and i really hope they do not make a second season they should stop in my opinion i really think they should just stop making these type of docuseries like people are gonna be like oh my god that you know i'm afraid that people might wear the costume like the costume wear a costume as the menendez brothers for halloween listen i'm so happy i stay home on halloween night i'm not out there with the scaries and I am so happy I'm not out there in the scariest on Halloween night because if people walk out looking at like the Mananans brothers for Halloween, this world has come to an end. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me go see if you have watched it. I think the show is just so disturbing and it's so disturbing. Like you need to watch in a whole nother series that's really light and fluffy, like a rom-com right after it, just to wash your brain of what you've just watched. Because it's so, like people like this did, people in the show did unspeakable things. Like you can't even think about the things that they talked about. It's just, I can't believe people like this are capable of doing horrible things like this in real life, you know? So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And of course, oh yeah, like, subscribe, comment, I would really appreciate if you guys like and subscribe. It's really important to me. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be pretty soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got to watch a lot more lighthearted stuff after this one because I'm never doing this again. I'm just letting you guys right now. Stay woke, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye.